to be painting on bottle caps. Huh. That was me, that was me. Because mm -hmm. it fell, because I added, you know what, you're looking at glyphs. Skip that. Um, hey, I mean, and today I'm going to be painting on bottle caps, specifically Snapple caps. Um, if you don't know what a Snapple cap looks like, this is, you know, this is what they look like. And if you haven't collected them, because you're probably a normal person, um, then you probably don't know that there's a, they're buttons. They're straight up buttons. Um, yeah, which... I don't know why I'm so excited about that, but they're buttons, so, and I'm aware that other bottle and jar caps have those button things, so you can recycle them. So, I'm turning them into buttons, so it's going to be a series, I didn't, you know, you're looking at blurs right now because I forgot to do the intro of my other one, so yeah, you're looking at blurs, but this is just going to be a series on my YouTube channel, and I hope you enjoy. This did take three days, so and they're not, like, really nice at all. <laughs> but I tried. Um, Hi, it's Emma, and, um... You know what today is. It's going to be painting on Snapple caps. It doesn't sound exciting, but um, I hope it is because um, <laughs> this took me three days. Three days, my friend. Three whole days. So I really do hope you like, like you enjoy this. So yeah, let's get into it. So basically, what I decided to make was that button in the cartoons. Um, I just needed to press that button as a kid, you know? I just really felt like I needed to do it. I needed to press that button. If I didn't, who would I be? Like, just, you know what, I'm <laughs> thinking way too deep into that. Never mind. Um, but, so I needed to make that button. So what I did was paint it red and drew some highlights on it for to give it, you know, that cartoony look. And boom, let that dry and it's done. And then after that, I found two more, my little collection. So I decided to make those. The first one, I'm very disappointed in. Like, very, 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 very disappointed in. Because you're going to see why. You're going to see why. So I painted the whole thing purple. I felt really lazy and I did not want to paint the other side of it yeah that's that's the thing but uh, the bright side you can still see the, the fun facts yeah that's very important we all need to see the fun facts always so yeah then the other one I painted it red because I wanted to make a like subscribe button or like a YouTube play button, like, you know, just paint it red and then put a upside, like, a sideways rectangle on it and call it the YouTube play button. I mean, it they're both buttons, so... Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Just, yeah, just, just telling you. And then, after a few minutes, I thought it was trash. I thought it was straight up dookie. So, I wiped all the paint off. With the Clorox wipe. And now, it's as good as new! Wow! <laughs> um, I had to wash my hands. I mean, not wash my hands. Wipe my hands, too. Because um, they were, like, like, really dirty. So, I took some yellow. And my idea for this was brown. I, no, it's not. It's a donut. That's my idea. A donut. Uh, so, I remembered that if you mix purple and yellow together, they make brown. I had yellow, but not purple. So, I had to use red and blue to make the brown I needed. I mean, I need red and blue to make the purple I needed to mix it with the yellow to make the brown I needed. You got, you got that? Okay. You probably didn't. So, yeah. But, I 
you can't really see the footage, but it took me quite some time to actually, like, make it good purple. On camera, it looked like a dark purple. On, like, no camera, it did not look like purple. This is a time where I mix it up to make it that brown color. I'm still not sure about the brown color. I really don't know how it, 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 it's, it's good to me, but... I mean, it kind of looks appetizing, like a very dark chocolate cake. So, yeah, let's just think of it as a dark chocolate cake. Also, mixing the purple and the yellow together kind of remind me of Lakers colors. R.I.P. Kobe. So, yeah. Moving on. Um, I had some trouble. This is a metal texture. So, I had some trouble sticking on the paint. So, I just dunk it in the paint instead. It's an amazing idea, which worked actually better than I thought. Thought it was going to come out bad and bumpy and chunky and just, just, just bad. So, yeah, I dunk it. <laughs> and to not waste any paint, I put it in my little container because I didn't have any brown. As you can see, like, there's no brown at all, so... I took all that paint and, you know, put it in there. And this is the time where I decide to make it more of a chocolatey brown. Because I thought, this isn't chocolatey enough. So I stirred it around and add some blue. Stirred it around, and it looked like the green that was next to it. I stirred in some yellow. Stir. And it looks like diarrhea poop. So I stirred in some red. And it looked disgusting. Like throw up. So I did some blue and some purple. And no. I did some blue and some red and some yellow. And mixed that up. And it still looked like throw up. So I did some white. And I said okay. So yeah. I'm not going to mess around with that paint anymore. So now it's time for the purple button. This one is kind of like a, a drag idea. Like, I don't know why I did this. <laughs> um, it's horrible. I couldn't really dunk. I wanted to dunk the button in the purple paint. But as you saw how badly the mixing or trying to make purple went, um, I didn't really want to take out the purple and put it on the paint palette because there was no room for it because it was all, you know, messed up by the brown. So, yeah. I just had to paint it on. The dollar store paintbrushes that I got, um, like the red ones that I'm using, they're very annoying because the fibers are very stiff and they don't move swiftly with the paint. So, yeah. I like the ones I got from Walmart better. <laughs> Um, and then for the frosting for the brown one, as you can see, it looks really good. No streaks, no cover, like, it, it's covered completely, so I'm happy with that. I decided to, like, literally squeeze, um, some white paint on it to make it look like <laughs> dripping, like if, like, dripping icing on the donut. So, yeah, that was, that came out well. My cousin, my uncle's over here doing a dance distracting me oh siblings doing a dance woo woo <laughs> oh, i love my family anyway <laughs> anyway um this is how the purple came out oh yeah beware yawns are contagious anyway so the purple came out looking better than i thought no streaks well streaks are like everywhere um so i decided because i have no idea what to do with the purple to make it to put like an e Yes, I spent three days to think of putting an E on a button. Are you, this is what I come up with in three days. Yeah, I'm so smart. Anyway, it, the E is probably the best looking thing that's on there because after I add the highlights, um, tell me why it just like, I should have stopped, but I didn't. I didn't stop. I continued and continued and made it look like Dookie. 
I need to stop roasting myself. <laughs> I haven't seen a therapist yet. <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't need a therapist. I have a good life. Anyway, I was just showing you how the red button went. Then I accidentally dropped the... I don't know, but I dropped it. Very annoying. So I had to use my paintbrush, but it wasn't, it wasn't awesome. No, it wasn't. I had to spread it, and when you spread it, the 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 paint kind of like spreads with it. The paint that's already dried, like the layers of paint that you spent three days on, goes with it. So yeah, that was annoying. I also decided to add some drizzle after it was like halfway dried. I just couldn't wait. I just needed to finish this. So, I had some drizzle. It came out looking like a cursive M. Like, the M on the Mar on Mario's cap. It looks very stiff. Everything looks stiff. <laughs> I don't... I should have added the hole instead of a drizzle. But, yeah. Anyway, this is a little montage of how they came out. Um, I'm acting like if they came out really good. First of all, the diarrhea looks like drizzled on diarrhea. Um, it, 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 look at that. It looks like straight from the toilet. The one I like the best is definitely the button, even though it looks bad. <laughs> it is time for the grand finale to press the button. Yeah, that was, um, <laughs> screen recorded. <laughs> Bye.